Assalamu alaikum. This is Kayum again from Cute Basic Cooking. And this time I'm going to make halwa. Ingredients I'm going to use for the halwa are what is uh, right in the middle, right here. One cup of suji. You can use fine suji or you can use more grainy one. One cup. Then I have a handful of black raisins a handful of golden raisins some uh, toasted chopped uh, nariel that's um, coconut coconut flakes toasted uh, with some um, sunflower seeds and that right here is toasted almond and sliced already i will use a third cup of sugar in it you can use more or less or not you know whichever way you like it everybody's needs are different so for one cup of suji semolina i'm using uh, one third cup of sugar two full tablespoons of ghee use butter use oil if you like six to eight uh, whole small cardamoms alaichi or half a teaspoon of alaichi powder i will use alaichi powder because my kids do not like uh, too much I like to see it's coming in their mouth, so I rather disguise it by using the powder. Alrighty, so let's get started. Step number one is going to be toast that suji before we make the halwa. I have some water boiling in there because when I use the water to uh, do the some water here, and when I have to use the pani for the suji for the semolina. I will use boiling water because this way you don't make lumps in the halwa. So heat up the karahi or whichever pan you're making your suji in. Add the semolina and let it toast. We are going to stir it, stir it, stir it, just you know, until you will feel the toasted aroma coming from it. Then we will stop. You can see now I'm trying to focus here it's changing color see it's getting brownish this will happen very very fast so all I have to do is to stir 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 and take it off you see that you see that brownish beautiful and it smells so good yeah. alrighty suji is toasted now when you make that halwa the suji is going to smell amazing you see that you see how the semolina is turning brown, light brown, toasted color? Okay. I like it a little bit brown. You can take it off at this point, but I will let it go another minute because I like it toasted. I like the nice rich brown color on my halwa. All right. Let's put that on the side. Dry is back. Let's add the ghee. Come on, come on, ghee, come on. It wants to keep clinging there. Alrighty, one more try. Okay. I'm going to add my alaichi powder now because I don't want it to burn. Alright. Smells good. Amazing, actually. Bring back the suji. And let's bone that suji now. While we are boning that suji in the ghee, I'm going to add most of the almonds, black raisins, golden raisins, some of the coconut. The rest is for garnish. All right, so do the same thing. Keep honing it until it gets a little bit dark. Okay, people, now comes the fun part.
little bit and all of us. And we are now going to add too much water. Feel free to add the sugar now. When you make gunawa harwa, every grain will become, you, you will see it separate. It's not nothing, uh, see that? It's not sticking to each other, it's not lumpy. That's the kind I like. I don't like the halwa with milk. I don't like the, the one with a lot of water. That's my way. Alrighty. Ask my husband to hold the camera for me for a second so I can start it properly with both hands. And now I can show you. Let me take you closer to it. You see all those white spots are gone. All those grains now from the semolina are translucent and you can see they are all separate they're not clinging to each other so that's the perfect way of halwa for me at least yummy bhunawa halwa is ready all right let's garnish it Sprinkle some coconut over it. There's toasted coconut and sunflower seeds. You can use the char magas if you like. Okay. Some slices of almonds here and there. see we have all the yummy stuff in there we have the black raisins almonds the aroma of cardamom and most of all it's not overly sweet i have all the yumminess in one spoon today i'm not fasting so let me try it bismillahirrahmanirrahim perfect